All you have to do is to see what the, the spokesperson of the President of the United States of America is doing, to see what the spokesperson of the, of the Prime Minister of the UK is doing. As I said, none of these people have ever at given you an impression that, look, this is what government... Because ask me, as I said, ask yourself, when last did you see a Femi Adeshino or a Garba Shehu sitting... Dr. Abati, the table is still there and addressing the Nigerian media and taking questions from them. I am saying President Buhari knows that I have the greatest respect for him, and I believe he's a gentleman. But for me, as the president of Nigeria, he's done a terribly bad job as president. I'm not, nothing I'm saying is new. All the pastors who preached yesterday, all the people that you reported, tell me one single, Rufai was, was even perhaps much clearer than I am. Tell me one single thing in my text mess, in, the, in the message I delivered that you disagree with. And we can talk about that. You know, but for, for me, that a Muslim would be the one to try and tell me what an Easter message should contain. You see, I understand all these things. So for me, it's General Buhari, President Buhari knows himself that it is nothing personal. And he also, I know that um, one thing the president said to me, and I, I was humbled, was when I had rumors, people were telling me that the president is angry with me because of some things I had said at the beginning of the life of this administration, which is, please get on with the job of governance and stop the fighting of corruption can go on pari pasu. One shouldn't cancel out the other. The Buhari Aparashiks all descended on me. Today, 99% of all those people are now, they are the ones who are asking me, what did I see that the rest of Nigeria didn't see? So, but one thing the president said to me, and I asked him whether he had heard and you know, how he felt. The president said to me, quote, I can quote him verbatim. He said, Bishop Kuka, even if I, I know where you stand on any issue in Nigeria, what connected me with President Buhari and what has connected me with 99% of Nigerian Muslims is not the Catholic Church. It is my public position on a lot of things. And I'm not saying this because... I expect people to agree with me. And I've said this severally. Nigerians have been extraordinarily magnanimous because I have not had that many people saying to me, we disagree with you. And I've never spoken because I, I know the issues. The primary beneficiary of the things I'm saying is myself, and I speak my mind. Now, if you agree with me, if you don't agree with me, let's clarify the issues. You know, so for me, all these people who are talking about, I'm attacking the president, in what, where did I attack the president? I didn't attack his, his person. Is it about the nepotism that is, that, we are, that, that is stranger to us? And the two critical things I have fundamental disagreement with this president is his inability to manage diversity effectively and efficiently. I have studied diversity as a subject, so I understand what I'm talking about. The second thing is that those who think that this thing is about President Buhari have never dealt with the issues of his character or lack of it. I believe he's a gentleman. And, but as far as being the president of Nigeria is concerned, we're talking about two different things. And please, if, I, if you may do, just indulge me. There was an interview that uh, Stella Obasanjo of Blessed Memory, God rest her soul, granted to, 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 to a state house magazine. And the issue was, she was asked many questions about her husband. They asked her, please rank your husband as a, as a husband, as a president, and as a father, and as a husband. Now, it was very interesting. I remember that interview very well. Mrs. Obasan just said, look, as a, as a president of Nigeria, I rank my husband between 80 and 90%. I live with him. I know he's doing very well. As a father, I think she ranked him maybe 40, 30 or 40, I don't remember, 30 or 40% or so. Then as a husband, <laughs> you know, she said something like she's called him 30% or something of that nature. What am I saying? I was not, I'm not the first person to disagree with Buhari's policy. His own wife has done so. Almost, tell me, I live in northern Nigeria, and I can tell you the things that one is hearing every blessed day. You don't even need to hear them. All you need to do is to be alert. So these guys should not be sitting in their air-conditioned offices, you know, uh, 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 drinking coffee and then just thinking that somehow everything is hunky-dory. It's just that we don't seem to appreciate. Let them disagree with the text of my, of my, of my sermon or any of the things I've written. 